everybody. It's Derek and Carol at Wine Geeks Armonk, and I have a wine update for you. Uh, all right, some recent arrivals, some things that we're going to feature at our upcoming classes. First off, brand new for us, a maitre de chez. Uh, these are two young guys. Uh, both came up in fine dining, first as chefs, and then both switched to a sommelier role, so kind of interesting. Most notably, they worked at French Laundry, uh, but some other great restaurants, Quince in San Francisco as well. And then when they went into the wine trade, they both staged with some notable people, Kongsgard and the Scolium Project. So this is very different. It's Napa Valley Cabernet, but no new oak to this. So it's very old school, 1970s, really reminded me of some of those fabulous Heights Cabernets from the 70s. So lots of perfume, raspberry, cherry, plum, cassis, yet sage, laurel, mint, green olive damp earth, wildflowers on the nose. I really, really like this wine. Again, super old school 70s cab. All right, uh, next up is not new for us. We carried this wine for a while, but we will be featuring it in our Rhone class coming up. So this is Domaine de Lis Equis Crozes Hermitage. Love, love, love this wine. So this is Maxime Graillot. His father is Alain Graillot, one of the most famous producers in the Northern Rhone. So his son set out on his own and started this project. He then subsequently took over his father's work as well under Alain Grail. This is very classic Northern Rhone Syrah, mineral tinge, cherry, plum, blackberry, candied violets on the nose, some cracked pepper, black olives, a little subtle wood smoke, licorice. Really love this wine. It has a nice kind of feral quality to it. And then two wines that we'll be featuring for our upcoming Sonoma class. First up, this is Eric Kent, Luke's Grow Chardonnay, Russian River Valley. I really love uh, what he does here. Got a really deft hand with oak, supple peach baked pear, honey crisp apples. On the nose, you get orchard blossoms, vanilla bean, lemon curd, creme brulee on the finish. Delicious, delicious stuff. It has that nice creamy texture to it, but not overdone. And then finally, also uh, being featured in our Sonoma class, is the Tobias Lexi's Estate Sauvignon Blanc. This is Mendocino, so just north of Sonoma, but we're gonna be doing it anyway. This is very classic California Sauvignon Blanc. Grapefruit, white peach, gooseberry, hints of honeydew melon, a little boxwood and kumquat on the nose. Delicious stuff. Less citrus to this than what you would get in, say, uh, Sancerre or New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. <music> That's everything I've got for now. Uh, so upcoming classes, uh, we just recently posted. Uh, Wines of the Rhone Valley is Saturday, March 16th. Uh, Wines of Sonoma, Saturday, March 30th. And then our blind tasting class will be Saturday, April 13th. Uh, remember, the classes do tend to sell out, especially this time of year. So if you're interested, don't leave it too long. Alrighty, hope everybody's doing well. Hope to see you down at the shop real soon. Cheers.